The number two story of the year promised children a new life free of polio. The story began at the University of Michigan. On this basis, it may be suggested that vaccination was 80 to 90, 80 to 90 percent effective against paralytic poliomyelitis, that it was 60 to 70 percent effective against disease caused by type 1 virus, and 90 percent or more effective against that of type 2 and type 3 viruses. For some, Dr. Jonas Salk's polio vaccine was too late. But for millions of others, this was the answer to a dream. The hue and cry was on. Vaccine. Every available ounce was grabbed up. The government was forced to set up a distribution program so all could have an equal chance at the life-saving drug. But in the midst of jubilation came tragedy. Cutter vaccine was feared faulty. Vaccinated children stricken by polio. Uncle Sam stepped in. The vaccination program was stopped. Cutter vaccine was recalled, and the government set up a rigid inspection program. Safe vaccine from Cutter and other firms was approved. The program again was on. By the end of the year, millions of children, including his own sons, looked forward to a polio-free future provided by Dr. Jonas Salk. 